Namni mana ijaru chita olin samu. It means people who build the same house contribute everything they have. Uh, whether it is in Bel Air in Ethiopia or far away in the jungle here, we are in the kingdom of God trying to put up the house of the Church of Christ wherever we go, wherever we step in. We are here to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. We are going to be teaching English and Bible to kids ages 7 through 18. And we will be uh, working with women in the local community, impoverished women, to teach them about health care, hygiene, child care, um, disease prevention, and also doing leadership training for um, the women elders in the church. You know, this is my first time ever even coming to Africa or even uh, remotely something close to Ethiopia or Africa. So I'm just excited to see and see what I can do to help them. I'm most excited about working with um, the children's and women's ministry. Um, just getting to know the people and learning about their culture and interacting with them and just sharing fellowship while we're here. We're en route this morning to the church, and then we'll um, break off into groups, whether it's teens, uh, small children, and then uh, women elders. talking about Jesus and in our class. Yesterday I was enjoying and we learned about uh, the fellowship or the leadership or how we can support in the church uh, and also about love, love of Jesus and about condition and unconditional love. And it's good. <coughs> we must love another person yes. without a condition means unconditional love. I think they have enjoyed a lot because they were able to discover their uh, spiritual gifts. Most of us, you know, we have gifts but we don't know what they are. But uh, the lessons we learned has helped. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it, it is a new discovery for us. Okay, my name is Tolera. Tolera means, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, simply, simply in English, tolerance or tolerance, something like that. Many lessons I've learned in this church about love of God, love of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ, because of his love, he gave us his life. And uh, because of his love, uh, <clears throat> God also, because of his love, he gave us his only son, Jesus Christ. Because of his love, um, he dies for us, he dies for our sinners. We met um, Mr. Dimple earlier today in Addis. He's a businessman, and he actually grew up in this village that we're in right now. And he has a vision for expanding um, the education system and um, ministries out here in this area to kind of provide a better life for the people that he grew up around and the people in the village. We have the medical clinic in the village. Well, it's not finished yet, but it looks beautiful. It's going to be really nice. So one of the classrooms that's been funded, perfect facilities, it's just wonderful. It's like in the middle of paradise. 
can't believe they go to school in this situation. We are in the church that Dembo, who we met earlier today, has built. This church is absolutely amazing. It's, so hopefully we'll be able to go, come back and, and tell everybody and get people to come out here. It is a uh, second Sunday here um, on our short-term trip. An Ethiopian service um, is something that everyone should experience um, at least once in their lifetime. You know, people are really um, close to God here, I feel. We are much more closer to God. And people don't miss church, you know. It's, an, it's, an, it's a kind of a commitment that everyone should come to church without force. This week I learned about God and about love. Uh, I must love unconditionally every person, white or black. Okay, I learned to have faith, courage, and truth in my life. I love Bear Church, and God bless you. Thanks. I, I see the Holy Spirit working in this church in an amazing way. Everyone asks us, what do you take away from Ethiopia? And for us, I think it's the community. I see God at work in so many ways here. I really love these people and it's just so hard to say goodbye now that I feel I'm kind of comfortable here now. As we learned um, in our high school class, there's a difference between love and God's unconditional love and their love really is an example of what God's unconditional love should be for um, the body of Christ. This experience is definitely something that I would take with me um, and remember for the rest of my life. My prayer for the church and the congregation is that um, the leaders of the church will really nurture the youth because there's so much potential there. My prayer for them is that they would continue to um, develop their spiritual gifts. I guess my prayer would be that they never lose their um, kind of non-proud, kind of humble um, sense of community. My prayer for the Ethiopian people and for Barayu Church is that they continue to be successful, continue to grow, continue to, to inspire others to join the congregation. My prayer for the people is that the Church of Barayu continues to grow, and I pray for all the families and the children. My prayer for Barayu Church is that they continue to grow in their faith. They're already so strong, and they, they reach out to everyone. Yeah, this is my blessing to the Bel Air. I'm lacking in the ballot. Gnetu matan bekaber ba Christos Jesus yemias feliga chun hulu yimla bachu. And this means may my God enrich you according to His riches. Uh, and this is my blessing to the Bel Air. We love you. God bless you.